God is Good Sportswear is one of the vibrant wholesale sports shops in Kumasi. During the African Cup of Nations 2021, the business stocked over a thousand pieces of Black Stars replica jerseys with the hope of making good sales. But they were left disappointed. Shop owner Emmanuel Ousu is, however, overwhelmed by the current show of support for the Black Stars, which translates into purchase of jerseys and paraphernalia. <laughs> Even the yellow ones, which are not liked by many, are being accepted. For the white ones, they are almost finished. Moving the game to Kumasi has helped us. Then thank God football have bring us together once again to show who is the king. Captain of the Super Eagles of Nigeria, Ahmed Musa, admits the clash nicknamed Jolof Derby is more than a football match. It's about politics, Nigeria, Ghana. It's about the Jolof that you just mentioned, Nigeria, Ghana. About music, <laughs> acting. What he said, you have Fufu and you have Eba. Which one will people will taste very well? So it's like Ghana go to a uh, World Cup or Nigeria go to World Cup. Everybody wish in this West Africa that two of them go, but it come to a situation that one of them have to drop. And we are not going to drop. They have to drop. So they know it. And Former captain of the Black Stars, Sami Osaikofo, will rate the game as one of the biggest games on the African soil. I quite remember we have a game in Nigeria whereby Abedi Pele wasn't even in the team, but we put his name in the team sheet. And his name come on the, what do you call it, the scoreboard. So was a, a, a bit confused for the Nigerians. And uh, by the time that they realized that he's not part of the team, they have already thinking about him, how to play against him and leave Oda Telamte and Tony Eboa. In 1955, Ghana beat Nigeria seven goals to nil in the Accra Sports Stadium. Dominating this fixture was legendary Babayara. Definitely for the Jorah Rice, I think I give it to Ghana because I enjoy the Jorah Rice very nicely. But for the football? For the football, lately for Nigeria, they will win. Ifyom Achibion Agban has lived in Ghana for over a decade. He is married to a Ghanaian with kids. I, I remember a friend of mine told me that when, when Nigerian win, I should not pass his place again. <laughs> I, should, I should pass the other way because he don't want to see me that I came and there are Nigerian people win. And that's what he was telling me. If I if Nigerian lose, mm. I will be fine. Then, then you will not be happy in the home. Oh, actually, I will be happy. I, there's there's no two about it. I can't leave my children because of the football. <laughs> then definitely, I will be I will be fine. They will laugh at you. Oh, actually, they they, they might say, hey, then you Nigerian lose, Nigerian lose. Oh, life go on. For some time, mainly in Kumase, the city that qualified the stars to the previous World Cup tournaments lost interest in the national team for poor performance, among other reasons. It however seems the rivalry between Ghana and Nigeria in the game of football is rejuvenating the love for the black stars. 4-0 in Babayara. When we get to Nigeria, we can give them a draw. That one, we are not bothered. I'm sure you want crying, actually, but Friday, we, we, are, we are killing them off, like, straightforward. It's 4 or nothing. But the Nigerian community in Kumase is ready to match up the home team in terms of numbers at the stadium. We're actually hoping it's going to be a tough match because we are a bit confident that our star players can help us get the win. Okay, I would say um, mostly the attack, especially as Ndidi is missing. So yeah, the attack. I'm, I'm looking to see the pace of Adioma Lukman in life because he's really, really fast on FIFA. Well, I think we have enough in attack to overpower almost anyone right now. So you have Moses Simon, lots of guys who can make a difference for us. So very confident. Until the final whistle is blown at the Barbara Sports Stadium, the talk of superiority among the two countries will continue to dominate conversations. For Joy News, Nanaya Ojima, Kumasi.